Heisman frontrunner running back Devin Callier has led the Wisconsin Badgers to the verge of school history as all that stands between them and their first college football playoff appearance ever is the Big Ten Championship game. Throughout his career, Devin has been criticized for his quote-unquote selfish nature on and off the field, but when it comes down to it, every team that he's on seems to win a lot of games. Today, not only will we find out if Devin will win the Heisman Trophy for the second season in a row, but we'll see if he can prove his doubters wrong and lead the Badgers to a Big Ten Championship and a Cinderella playoff run. Alright boys, so we come out in the Big Ten Championship game, taking on Michigan State to see who will represent the conference in the playoffs. This is definitely the biggest game of Devin's career so far, and in addition to deciding our playoff fate, Devin's performance in this game will very likely decide whether or not he'll win the Heisman again this year. Winning the Heisman both as a freshman and a sophomore would be absolutely crazy, and remember, Devin's still got a year after this, so he could potentially be a three-peat Heisman winner. Michigan State's a solid team, but I'm honestly not sure why they're ranked ahead of us when we've played such a tough schedule, and we've got a big-time third and goal here. See if we can punch it in with a pass game. Game. Devin is open out of the backfield, but Mertz is going to throw that late, and we have to settle for a field goal after getting it all the way down to the two. Michigan State goes right down to take a 7-3 lead. We've got a ball game here, and now we really need to score on this drive. Michigan State gets the ball at halftime, and after a couple of sacks, we are faced with a third and 20. We're just running a halfback screen here, but Devin does have a little bit of room. Can we cook? We're going to be just short. I try my best, man. Michigan State takes an 11-point lead, so now we might really be in trouble. Graham Mertz is able to get us down the field. Now we've just got a punch it in on the goal line and we do just that and Michigan State fumbles on the kickoff so now we have a chance to take a lead before halftime huge play from our special teams and this might be it on the halfback screen we get to the corner to punch it in and reclaim the lead right when this game was looking bad we reclaim control now we've got the chance to make this a two score lead and with Devin on the sidelines we punch it in for a touchdown but Michigan State answers right back we're faced with a third down once again and that was a terrible call for a ball Graham Mertz throws a pick and then it's going to be up to Devin to tackle this guy. He breaks out of there for a killer pick six. That one is all on me. We need to make up for that on this drive. And now we have a chance to reclaim the lead. Devin has room to the outside, but we can't quite get in there. So now we go to the power running game on second and goal. And that is going to be a touchdown all day. And Michigan State punts the ball away. All we need is a few first downs to close this one out. We are up over 100 receiving yards in this game, which should help us lock down the Heisman. But this game is far from over. We need to convert this third down. And for whatever reason, Devin is off the field. Graham Mertz is just going to check that down. That's going to go nowhere. And with just over a minute left on the clock, Michigan State is driving. Defense is going to need to clutch up here, but Peyton Thorne is going to throw a strike over the middle. That'll get Michigan State right down to the goal line. And honestly, it's probably better for us if they punch it in before wasting any more clock. So with 45 seconds left on the clock, it all comes down to this. Can we put together a game-winning drive? We got a pancake and we are headed down the sidelines. We're going to take this to the house for the clutchest play of Devin's career. 100 yard return and now defense just has to shut him down for 30 seconds it looks like they're trying to set up a screen here and Peyton Thorne is taking a sack so now with just 10 seconds left defense just needs to keep everything in front of them so it comes down to this six seconds left for some reason defense is going with a press look and for some reason Michigan State is just gonna dump it off we are headed to the college football playoffs thanks to Devin's clutch performance not our most impressive stats but we came through and accounted Devin is going to take home his second Heisman trophy in an absolute landslide also going to win returner of the year, of course. So in the first round of the playoffs, we are taking on TCU in the Peach Bowl, and Max Duggan went right down and got three points, so we got to an answer here. And we're coming out with the outside zone. I'm going to hit the back juke. I saw we had numbers to the right side, and that back juke is so nasty. With Devin on the sidelines on the next play, Graham Mertz punches it in for a touchdown. TCU is able to answer with another field goal, but we're down the sidelines once again here. We're going to get a little bit further this time and get knocked out around the 20. Unfortunately, we're going to have to settle for a field goal on this drive. Devin has been off the field for a lot of plays in this game, but defense is finally able to get a stop. And we are putting together another steady drive here. This time we need to make sure it ends in a touchdown. And I see y'all in the comments hating on me for bouncing it outside, but why would I not bounce it outside when that's when I get out of it? Once again, we score a touchdown with Devin on the sideline. And with TCU's offense struggling, we are at a point in this game where if we score another touchdown, this one might be over at halftime. And Devin has been a threat out of the backfield today. He's been finding the open spot on almost every pass play. And on this third and goal, we've got some space. Mer is going to get it out to us, but we can't quite get into the end zone. And that might be it for the half. We are going to run out of time. All right, so a solid half. Defense is playing really well, and Graham Mertz has been slinging the ball around today. We've got tons of space up the middle here. Devin hits a clean spin move to pick up 15 yards, and we are still in search of our first touchdown on the day. I'm looking to get it here, and Mertz throws a perfect ball to us on the improvisational route. That's something we've been working on all season. And Max Duggan has not been able to move the ball at all. I won't say that this is a Georgia team. 
TCU type situation, but it's getting pretty close if we score another touchdown. All right, TCU finally answers back with a touchdown right when it looked like we were on the verge of blowing them out. And this game could turn around real quick if we're not careful. Draw gets absolutely blown up on second and 13. We have a big time third down here to start the fourth quarter, and we're not able to pick that up, but defense gets us a safety. One thing that has been great about coming to Wisconsin is the defense, and now we've got some room on the safety return. I think this might just be our first return touchdown of the day. They couldn't hold us down the whole game. Good night, TCU. Horn Frogs are able to get one last touchdown, but all we have to do is crush the clock here. They do have us to third and seven, so it's not quite over yet. For some reason, Graham Mertz is snapping the ball with like 20 seconds left on the play clock, and there is nowhere to go on that screen pass. But thankfully, we recover the onside kick, and we are going to get out of here with a dub. And the Wisconsin Badgers are headed to the national championship game. I feel like it would not be right if Devin didn't take a kick return to the house in the national championship game, but this Georgia defense is pretty stingy. We almost got out of there, though. The plays that normally work for us are getting blown up in the backfield right now, and we might be in trouble if we don't pick up a first down here. This is a horrendous route tree on third down. We do not even have a route, and that dump off is not going to quite get us the first down. The national championship game has gotten off to a nightmarish start. We are already down to 10 nothing after getting the ball first, but we could get some of it back right here on the return. We're flying down the sideline, but one of those quick Georgia defenders is going to catch us. We've got the ball on the read option here. It looked like we were going to have some space, but it closed up so quick. And on third down, that is going to be short of the sticks again. We have elected to punt the ball on fourth and one from the 31 yard line. You got to be kidding me, coach. We are getting blown out by Georgia right now. If we're not careful, this could turn into a repeat of the Georgia TCU National Championship game. We absolutely need a touchdown on this drive if we want to have a chance in this one. As we get lit up in the backfield and fumble. That is not a good look for the Heisman winner. Thankfully, defense gets a turnover. This game could have been over if Georgia cashed that in, but we have been getting consistently locked up in the backfield. And after the punt, Georgia is going to score another touchdown. Folks, I am afraid we are getting TCU'd here. This is not what I expected at all from this game. We are somehow down 31 to nothing going into the second half. But we might finally have something cooking here on the return. We're going to get down the sideline. Maybe I shouldn't have hit the back cheek there. I don't know. And Devin is once again on the sidelines here. We keep just throwing passes short of the sticks. And we are going to settle for a field goal. At least we're getting on the board, I guess. Defense is finally getting stopped. So maybe just maybe we can get something going. And I'm going to do everything I can to cheese my way to some points here. And Graham Mertz is going to throw for a touchdown there. Okay. We might actually have a chance to get back in this game. We've got to score fast though. So something is going to have to shake in the return game. We do have room here. All right, let's take this to the bank. I do not trust offense, but we're going to get tripped up. So we have five minutes to erase a 21 point deficit against the best offense in the country. Last chance for us to keep the season alive on fourth and 12. And he is going to take off. I already know he's not going to pick that up. And that is going to do it. We've got one last kick return to try to close out the season on a positive note. But these Georgia defenders have been running us down all day. And that is going to do it. The Badgers get blown out in the national championship. A very painful loss for Devin as he had one of his worst games of the season today. So Devin closes out the season with 1,400 yards rushing. Honestly, a little bit under what I was hoping for this year. Next year, we definitely have to try to hit 2,000. He did add 1,000 yards receiving, but where he really went crazy was on the kick returns. 14 kick return touchdowns plus 7 punt return touchdowns. That's what one of the Heisman. But it'll be up to next season to determine whether he completes his ultimate goal of winning a national title.